Hello everyone. I'm so glad you could join me again this week as we continue to look at the fruits of the Spirit. The Apostle Paul wrote the nine qualities we call the fruits of the Spirit. He neatly divided them into three general groups. The first group that we have already looked at and we have completed has been love, joy, and peace. These three portrays a Christian mind in its most general form, the emphasis being on a relationship with God. Love, joy, peace expresses communication of our hearts towards God when we are walking closely with His Spirit in obedience. The next three we'll look at are patience, kindness, and goodness. These expressions are how we treat others and how we want to be a blessing to those that God loves. You know how they say to not pray for patience because God will send you experiences to help you gain that character trait. I believe that to be true. That word from patience in Galatians 5.22 means long temper in the sense of the ability to hold one's temper for a long time. Have you ever needed to hold, have the ability to hold your temper for a long time? I will raise my hand with you. I have to admit to you that that has been one of my biggest challenges in living the fruits of the Spirit and being more Christ-like. Having a temper has always been one of the things I never liked about myself and I've always tried extremely hard to change, but unfortunately it shows its ugly head every now and then. I have learned also that the fruit of the spirit of patience is more than the ability to hold your tongue. It is also having the patience that can lead to hope and peace. How can we have the patience that leads to hope and peace in situations of being wronged by a friend? or situations in our workplace, or children are driving us to the end of a rope, or we cringe over an ongoing injustice. As we learn to keep in step with the fruits of the Spirit, we learn restraint and endurance under the most difficult situations. Impatience can be replaced with hope in Jesus because He is the only one who can resolve the injustice, the only one who can turn the heart of another. And when our eyes are fixed on the giver of this patience, we gain true peace. That's how the first group of the fruits of the Spirit are intertwined together with the rest. Patience is that fruit of the Spirit that is, enables you to keep bearing these things with love, joy, and peace. It takes time to ripen these fruits in our hearts. Think of the patience that God has. God has given us and He continues to give us patience every day. Psalm 145 verse 8 tells us, The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abiding in love. The Lord is not slow to keeping His promise. And as some understands His slowness, He is patient with you not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance and live in eternity with Him. Unfortunately, we live in an impatient world, and our vast technology culture of smartphones, social media, streaming entertainment, and many high-tech devices that are at our disposal, our society has become increasingly impatient. We want everything done quickly and at the touch of a button. However, a culture of impatience leads to anger, complaining, disappointment, and even depression. Impatience prevents our character development and spiritual growth. Despite the challenges and problems we face in life, God wants us to learn to be patient. We must seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit in order to have a patient character. We must be patient during the problems and challenges in life. We must be patient during times of persecution and injustice from the wicked. Patience is produced by love. 
this type of patience is not just about waiting for something to happen. It is about being strong in the Lord while you wait. This type of patience helps build your character and your relationship with God because it is an exercise in maturity, endurance, and fortitude. This type of patience is for you so that you lack nothing. You become confident in the Lord. Proverbs 16.32 is a verse I have written on my heart. It says, better be patient person than a warrior, one with self-control than one who takes the city. How do we develop better patience? With better prayer, better endurance, better fellowship, better fruitfulness, and better hope. Help keep your confidence in the promises of God. Christian patience helps keep you from quitting the race when things get tough. It helps you to remember that the Christian life is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And there are great mental battles in this race that we run. You can overcome if you run with patience. It takes time for you to develop into a fruitful Christian, bearing the fruits of the Spirit. Because, remember, growing fruit on a tree doesn't happen overnight. So, when you're feeling impatient, take a breath. Because it can be tough to focus on patience when we're all hyped up on anger. Here are some steps to take. When you start to feel the anger or impatience, give thanks. This might seem like a weird first step since our first nature reaction is to ask God, why me? But the Bible tells us to rejoice in God's will for our lives. That means that we trust His timing even when His timing means we have to wait. Second. Look for God's purpose. Maybe He simply wants to strengthen your patience, which will grow that spiritual fruit and bring Him glory through your actions. Finally, remind yourself God wants the best for you. Romans 8.28 tells us, All things God works for the good for those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. All those things include all the annoyances and frustrations that try to suck away your patience. And remember to breathe. You're a new creation in Christ, which means that you are no longer a slave to the natural reactions of every other human being on the face of the earth. You do have the abilities to choose patience. Don't let anyone or anything convince you otherwise. Let your heart be filled with love, joy, peace, and let your heart be filled with patience as you give your annoyances and anger over to Him. Because choosing patience helps prune your tree with the fruits of the Spirit.